Each month, economists, analysts, and politicians eagerly anticipate the announcement of the official unemployment rate, known as the U3 unemployment rate. There are experts who would rather focus on a different rate instead, the lesser known U6 unemployment rate. But why is that? We'll be answering that question today on this edition of Economics Made Simple. Many people say the U6 unemployment rate is more accurate than the U3 rate that's in the media most of the time. We've brought on Clint Dahl to explain. Clint, can you please describe to us why the U6 unemployment rate is often considered more accurate? I can understand the confusion. Let's first take a look at the U3 unemployment rate. U3 measures the percentage of the civilian labor force ages 16 and over who don't have a job, are available for work, and have been looking for work in the last four weeks. But some experts have criticized the U3 unemployment rate. Their main objection is that it defines unemployment too narrowly. It doesn't include people who have given up on looking for work or those who are involuntarily working only part-time. Some argue that the U6 is a more accurate representation of joblessness in America. Let's take a look at what the U6 measures. The U6 rate is the broadest official measurement of unemployment. It includes those in the U3 and also three other groups of unemployed Americans. The marginally attached, the discouraged, and the underemployed. Marginally attached workers are those who would prefer to be working and have looked in the last 12 months, they just haven't in the last four weeks. Discouraged workers are similar to marginally attached workers, except they believe at this time there's not the right opportunity out there and they're not planning on rejoining the workforce until they see those opportunities arise. Underemployed workers want full-time work, but they can only find part-time work. Since the U6 unemployment rate includes those additional groups, some believe that this is a better representation of the job market. As you may have guessed, the U6 typically runs higher than the U3, sometimes as much as 80 or 90%. Thank you, Clint. I may never look at the official unemployment rate quite the same way again. That's the end of today's presentation. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and check back again for more Economics Made Simple. Joe Montana here. Click subscribe now and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. You'll be glad you did.